disassembly tips. Ensure that you take the following precautions when disassembling a unit. Label each cable as you remove it, noting its position and routing. This will make replacing the cables much easier and will ensure that the cables are rerouted properly. Keep all screws with the component removed, if applicable. The screws used in each component can be of different thread sizes and lengths. Using the wrong screw in a component could damage the unit. If the unit contains light-sensitive components such as motherboard, memory module, CPU, hard disk drive, graphic card store the component in its original ESD packaging to avoid damage. Please read the description below for more details about tools used to removal and replacement, static electricity. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, wireless module, solid state drive, right trunk, right support bracket, right fan, left trunk, left support bracket, left fan, heat sink, and I.O. board. Removal. Important. Make careful note of the routing of all the cables for later replacement. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the USB board ZIF connector and disconnect the USB board ribbon cable from the USB board. Remove the USB board ribbon cable from the adhesive that secures it to the top cover. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the hard disk drive ZIF connector and disconnect the hard disk drive ribbon cable from the system board. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the keyboard backlight ZIF connector and disconnect the keyboard backlight ribbon cable from the system board. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the keyboard ZIF connector and disconnect the keyboard ribbon cable from the system board. Using minimal force, Lift the locking bar up on the touchpad button board ZIF connector and disconnect the touchpad button board ribbon cable from the system board. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the card reader board ZIF connector and disconnect the card reader board ribbon cable from the system board. Disconnect the speaker cable from its connector on the system board. Using minimal force, Lift the locking bar up on the display panel cable ZIF connector and disconnect the display panel cable from the system board. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the power button board ZIF connector and disconnect the power button board ribbon cable from the system board. Remove the four 3mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the system board to the top cover. Lift the front edge of the system board off of the alignment pins and at an angle, guide the external connectors on the rear edge of the system board out of the cutouts in the top cover and remove. Replacement Note, before installing a new system board, remove the following from the old system board and install on the new system board. Memory Modules USB Board Ribbon Cable I.O. Board Ribbon Cable Tow the external connectors on the rear edge of the system board into the cutouts and the top cover and lower it onto the alignment pins. Important! Ensure that all the cables are free from being pinched between the system board and top cover. Replace the four 3mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the system board to the top cover. Insert the power button board ribbon cable into the power button board ZIF connector on the system board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable in place. Insert the display panel cable into the display panel cable ZIF connector on the system board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Connect the speaker cable into its connector on the system board. Insert the card reader board ribbon cable 
into the card reader board ZIF connector on the system board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Insert the touchpad button board ribbon cable into the touchpad button board ZIF connector on the system board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable in place. Insert the keyboard ribbon cable into the keyboard ZIF connector on the system board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Insert the keyboard backlight ribbon cable into the keyboard backlight ZIF connector on the system board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Insert the hard disk drive ribbon cable into the hard disk drive ZIF connector on the system board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Insert the USB board ribbon cable into the USB board ZIF connector on the system board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Important. After system board replacement, be sure to complete post-installation tasks as required that may include verifying the functionality of the notebook, updating the BIOS, updating DMI and other settings. Thanks for watching. Please click subscribe for more videos and weekly updates.